So the other construct that we have is something known as the continue statement. The continue statement. And how it works is the exact opposite of break. Break, I know this is, you know, crazy, but break exited out of the loop and moved on with the rest of the code. Continue will actually end the current cycle or iteration at $5 word again, it'll end it and actually move to the next statement. So all of a sudden we do that same kind of structure. We do that same kind of structure here where suddenly, you know, number equaled 14 and sum equaled uh, 105. Well, what happens here? Well, we hit the 105. 105 is greater than 100. Continue. Continue just tells it to go right back to the top. Guess what? You know, then we continue running through this the entire time. Now, this one isn't uh, such a great example, but what happens if instead we had taken this entire structure right here and moved it right above this? Well, guess what? Number would never change, and we would actually be stuck in an infinite loop. Only if I moved it up there. So now that you've kind of hopefully coded this out, you're not just watching these videos, you're following along. You know, see if you can move this thing around and see what happens when you do so.